stock is surging in trade on the back of a recent news flow. The company has secured a deal with OTP Bank, which has chosen Intellect Design's core banking solution to power their banking experience. In a disclosure to the exchanges just prior a few minutes back, the company has also intimated that they have bagged an order from an Indian bank to bolster their corporate banking modernization. We have Arun Jain, Managing Director at Intellect Design Arena, uh, to talk about this and a lot more. Uh, Mr. Jain, um, morning, and thank you very much uh, for joining in. This is Reema here. Uh, first, wanted to understand, you know, when we last spoke to you, you said that there were two deals which got pushed forward from Q2 into Q3. Uh, and I think they were worth close to about 30 crore rupees. Uh, so uh, is the OTP and this large PSU bank those deals? And if you could tell us the size of these individual deals. Okay, let me just take you to the three frames of my conversation. One frame is about the OTP deal. What is the meaning of this mm. deal? This is the deal of uh, core banking and lending transformation. So there are two products which are going with the OTP deal, digital core and digital lending on emag.ai platform. So this is the cloud native platform which they have chosen. They took two years for choosing this platform. And it's a one of the signature deals in Europe. So Eastern Europe and Central Europe, 12 countries roll out over the next three years. And the overall deal value could be as high as 1,000 crore deal. So this is an important deal from the perspective that it's a potential of 1,000 crore over the 10 years, where we calculate in emac.ai deal. On front of why the technology is important, in client-server technology shift, the two players came in the forefront. Terminos and FlexQ, Oracle, which is today, Oracle Financial Services. They took the lead in 2002 to become core banking transformational player. Now it's the age of cloud and AI, where intellect and thought machines are playing, are the forerunners in this space. And OTP deal validate our technology leadership of uh, reaching and evaluated by the best architect in the world. And that's where we are so bullish about what I spoke to you last time in the last quarter, the two deals just postponed. Those two deals, one of them is about this and other deal uh, also will be coming up in the next few days. So, so that's the current structure of the deals. So this is a critical deal from a perspective that very few times are the flagship deal in a geography. This is a flagship deal of Europe where everybody is paying attention to. We have signed up along with Microsoft Azure and AWS. Both are supporting us in Europe. And this is a pure, pure cloud deal, which is uh, putting us on a front runners, front seat along with Thought Machine. Fair enough. So this is a potential of 1,000 crore over the tenure of the deal, which is 10 years, right? The OTP yeah. deal, which is the flash. What about that PSU banking deal, which you've just announced to the exchanges? What would be the value of that deal, sir? Uh, typically, this EMAC.ai deal on 10 year potential is 100 crore to 300 crore. So, Indian Bank is also in that range of 100 crore kind of a deal over the 10 year potential. Hmm. Okay, That's what that. we are looking at. Okay, uh, you were just mentioning that, you know, one uh, other deal is also going to be uh, sort of announced very soon. Could you tell us what kind of quantum that is? Is that also a very large deal? And overall, how is the deal pipe, uh, the deal inflow really been this entire quarter? If you can give us some kind of uh, sense on that. Q2 was quite good. I think you're running on the track. Uh, right now, I don't want to take the thunder what the deal will be announced till the ink is done. We cannot say that he signed up. Uh, so uh, contracting is a difficult process right now. So what I would like to highlight to you is that uh, this is the 19th deal of emag.ai since we launched emag.ai in February. So we are tracking two deals a month. Uh, is the current run rate of emag.ai deal. EMAC is, again, for investor, EMAC means event-based, microservices-based, API-based, cloud, headless, and AI. There are six words which makes the EMAC.AI and which, which is making the time, cost, and choice to the customers. So this is what the valuable position of EMAC.AI for our customers. So our pipeline has growing very fast in the EMAC.AI, and we'll be increasing our capacity in coming months. Hmm. 
Uh, so how is Q3? Uh, some of the companies we've spoken to have indicated that furloughs are higher than what we normally have in the December quarter. Um, what has your experience been of the quarter gone by? Still, quarter has to go by. <laughs> Still uh, running, <laughs> and a lot of things happen in the last few weeks of the uh, signing of the deal. So normally for us, it's looking healthy. It's going okay. better than the previous quarter. So I will leave it at that point. So Q3 is better than Q2, right? So far. So far. <laughs> so far. Okay. And what about your guidance? Then uh, are you on track to increase your top line by 15% and your profits by 30% for FI24? Or can you do better? <laughs> it should be the same. 15% will be there. Annual, annual growth of 15% we can sustain. And profit um, growth, 30%? On the margin, obviously, margin should be 30%, yeah. Margin growth of 30% oh, should be there. Margin growth. Okay, all right, got that. Um, the, so, could you also take us through, uh, you know, what this will mean on the profit? I think on uh, you did give the revenue guidance. Can you tell us what we can expect in terms of the profit for Q3? No, no, I, we don't give profit guidance, so it's too difficult to give a profit guidance right now. So, so profit okay. guidance we don't give. I think growth model guidance is there. So we are saying that the new deals which are coming up in our way can have a much higher margin. So our investments are behind us. In 2021, 22, we made a huge investment in increasing our capacities to meet the cloud and the EMAG.AI version release. But after the version release there, that those costs are regularized. So our new revenue is coming at a much higher margin than the old deals are there. So that's the beauty of uh, the margin expansion, which will happen almost so, quarter on quarter, a year on year. So we expect our growth number of whatever the revenue number is, profit number should grow by double of that size. So 15%, 30%, if it's 18%, 36%, that's the kind of a calculation you can look at it. Okay, and since profit is growing at a rate which is double that of revenues, so this year revenue is 15%, so the profit should go up 30%, right? By that That's logic? Right. Okay, That's so right. what will this mean in terms of your gross margin level? What do you think the exit margin could be on the gr gross per yeah. gross margins? Yeah, so we look at it uh, annualized numbers, so we don't look at quarterly numbers, one that I want to highlight to you. Quarterly numbers are uh, misnomer in a product business. And that number is around 55, gross margin is 55, 56%. These deals, which are coming, new email.ai deals, they are coming at a higher margin of 60% plus. So it will be between 54% to 60% um, gross margin is expected out of this. All right, got that. We'll leave it at that, uh, Mr. Jain. Thanks a lot for joining us and taking us through both of these deals. And that is the management of intellect design. The stock is up almost 4%. They're telling us that they have on these two new deals. And they are also expecting a third one to be announced very soon. They expect to maintain that guidance of 15% in terms of the revenue growth. The profit could go up by around 30%. With that, it is time for a short break.